Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We're back with the second half of the nursery makeover, and after we've spent the last several weeks with very little visible progress uh, as we're applying coat after coat of paint onto the windows, we finally are at the point where we can paint the walls. Everything gets taped up one last time, and I make some small touch-ups to the drywall where the door to the bathroom used to be. Once again, we first cut the tape with the ceiling or the trim color and then start working on the edges in the gray that will be the actual color of the wall. And finally, it's time for glory work. The stuff that only takes a few minutes but makes a huge visual difference in the final product. There still seems to be some glue residue where the wallpaper was so that will require some touch-ups. In the meantime, while I wait, I can get started on putting some of the supplies and the tools away. Removing the tape is always a little bit the moment of truth, where you see how crisp the edges really turned out. Spoiler, not great, but more on that later. I even try scoring the tape with a knife so that it doesn't rip up as much paint when I remove it from the ceiling. Unfortunately, quite a few places look like this. I probably need to do a better job in the future sanding and deglossing the windows before getting started with the paint to improve adhesion. But here I am, after I just thought I was done with the tiny brushes, doing touch-ups. In between the touch-ups drying, I reinstall the blinds. The door also still needs its final coats of paint, and once again, I've curated the finest outfits for your viewing pleasure. Come for the home improvement, stay for the fashion. Just like in the other room, all of the outlets and switches get replaced, and changed out to newer versions that have cover plates with no fasteners showing. We also install the same closet doors, which doesn't mean I don't need to reread the instructions.
I can also cut to length and install the trim piece which I've been painting alongside the door that goes where the door to the bathroom used to be. And after what seems like forever, once the door has its final coat of paint, we can start assembling some of the furniture. But sadly, before we can welcome the arrival of the baby, we have to say goodbye to an old and dear friend. She's been in my life for 15 years and in Lisa's for 11 and has been there for many big life events and changes and milestones along our journey. But the nursery is finally finished and it's beautiful. We're still planning on doing some small details like adding shelving, plants and pictures on the walls. It's of course also not staged because this is not HGTV, but we're so happy with it. And finally, the big day is here and we're off once again to new beginnings. Thanks for watching and see you next time.